Now we will look into an interesting problem on inscribed circles in an equilateral triangle. We can look at this figure here. We can see it's an equilateral triangle. They have mentioned it and it's 10 inches each side. And there are two circles over here. We have to find the radius of both the circles to the nearest hundred. Now first, let's see what do we know. We know the each side is 10 inches, right? And this is 10 and this is 10. What else? Nothing. No other information is given. So what I'll do is, to understand more, let me draw a straight line. I mean, let me cut the equilateral triangle into two equal parts. Now this will be a 90 degree line. A straight line is drawn and what I'll do is I'll name this triangle. Let me name A. I'll take this as AB and this is a circle. Let me take this circle as X, bigger circle and the Y is the smaller circle. And let me take this part, the midpoint or between the two circles, the touching point over here as C. So I've got AB, the entire length, that's the height or the altitude of the equilateral triangle. The circle X, whose radius can be given as XB or XC, and the circle Y, whose radius is given as YC. What is the half of this, half of the side? It will be 5 inches. Now, I know this length and the hypotenuse length. This is a 90 degree. Can I find A and B? Yes, I can from Pythagoras theorem. If I consider this as, say, M, AM squared, that is the hypotenuse, will be equal to AB squared plus BM squared. Now, what is AM? AM is 10 squared, that will be equal to AB, that is unknown value, let's leave it like that, plus BM is 5 squared. We can solve this up, 100 equals AB squared plus 25. Take it to the other side, it will be 75, 100 minus 25 is 75 equals AB squared or you can take square root on both the sides and the square and this root cancels off. You will remain with 75 is equal to AB or you can write it as phi root 3 because 75 is a multiple of 25 times 3. We can take 25 out and we'll get phi. You can put this in the calculator and you'll get the answer. Here phi root 3 or you can directly put all this root 75 it will be the same thing and press SD you will get 8.66 inches. Now here very important since they have told nearest 100 try to maintain all the answers in nearest 100 itself. This is the AB value. That's the altitude or the height of the equilateral triangle. We need to find the radius. But there is a rule saying that if we know the altitude or the height of an equilateral triangle, we can find the radius of the inscribed triangle from the circle X. The radius is equal to one third of the altitude, one third of AB. So R is basically one third of 8.66. If you split the entire height into three pieces, one piece would be the radius of the larger circle. So now we found out R is equal to one third of 8.66. That is equal to one third times 8.66. You get 2.886. Now here let us consider nearest 100. That means 100 has two zeros. So two decimal play, two points after the decimal point. So it's 8 and since it's 6 over here, I'll take it as 8, 9. Radius for the bigger circle, larger circle is 2.89 inches. So one circle is done. What about the other circle now? Now here for this equilateral triangle, we took one third of the height, right? Now what if I cut this out over here? Then this becomes another equilateral triangle with the smaller circle in it. So if I find this height A and C, what happens is one third of A and C would be the radius of the smaller circle. So how can I find this height A and C? I know the total AB will be equal to CB plus AC. AB we just found out a while ago, it's 8.66. And what is CB? CB would be two times 2.89 because it's the diameter. We know the radius. 
just find the diameter 2 times 0.89. All you need to do is multiply the radius into 2 or add it twice, you will get the diameter. And AC is unknown. So all you need to do is take this to the other side and solve it up. You can directly put in the calculator and solve. It will be 8.66 minus 2 times 2.89 because 2 times 2.89 moves to the other side and becomes negative. And we have 2.88 as the height of AC or the distance of AC. 2.88 equals AC. We found AC. We know one third of this, one third of AC would be the radius of the circle Y. So we just have to do one third times 2.88 and that would be the answer. One third times 2.88. And the answer is 0 0.96 inches. The answer would be 0 0.96 inches as the radius for the circle Y. So those are the two radiuses. This is how we can solve the radiuses for an equilateral triangle. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe for more interesting stuff.